What's up, Momos? Welcome back to the channel. What's up, Popos? No. Nope. What's up, Momos? Oh my goodness. Welcome back to the channel. This is a random opener because we're already where you're going to see us going. But we're taking it back and it's us from the future. Okay? <laughs> Anywho. This is going to be a super fun vlog. We're headed to D.C. to hang out with some people from The Chosen. I'm, ex I'm getting increasingly more excited. Yes. As the minutes tick by. Yes. We're going to hang out and watch the new Christmas special, which is not just like music and monologues and stuff on set. It's also like a full episode that they filmed secretively. So we're going to watch that and we'll let you guys know our thoughts afterwards. Yes. We're going to be watching it tonight with people from The Chosen in Washington, D.C., where we already are. Come along for this vlog. There's going to be more than just Chosen related content, but the focus is obviously Chosen related. Let's go. Let's go. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't because it's a fun channel. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you have heard of The Chosen, seen an episode of The Chosen, or watched it all. So enjoy this vlog. <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, it's four in the morning, which is why I look like it's four in the morning. We are headed to the airport for a very fun trip. Hi, Squish. You gonna be a good girl? Before we leave, go hang out with your friend. <laughs> Oh, how you've changed. <laughs> We're both looking pretty rough right now because we've been up since 4 a.m. and we can't check into our hotel room, so we just dropped our stuff off there. And now we're just kind of walking around. We're walking around looking shabby. <laughs> yeah, it's just how it's how things felt. We'll put on a different clothes for this evening, I guess. Yes. to Washington DC old boy. It feels good to be back. I really like a lot about this city. I do. Babe, don't joke like that. We made it to the hotel in our room, finally. We are feeling good, you guys. <laughs> Eating some hummus and pretzels. Yeah. <clears throat> This is gonna hold us over till dinner when we go find somewhere really yummy. We're gonna take a nap. It'll be sleepy. We got up so early this morning. <laughs> Some good stuff coming. <laughs> we got some sushi because we didn't get enough sushi when we were in Nashville. And we got some chicken hibachi. Yes. And I finally can rest because it's very stressful trying to find a place to eat when you have no idea where to go, what the good places are, etc. etc. And we got some Kobe Wagyu beef. It was $1,000 for eight ounces, but when in Rome, 
not true. <laughs> Just kidding. I would like to try some Wagyu beef sometime. I hear it is awesome. Also, of course, my plan before we came out this evening was to fix my hair. I unzipped my bag. I had left my hair product behind. So this is what we have to work with. But we went to Target before coming here, just before coming here. I grabbed some hair stuff. I will be putting it on tomorrow when we go hang out with the chosen people. I can't have my hair looking like this. Good morning from DC, day two. Oh, did I... Can you not yell in my ear again? Take two. Cut. Oh, he's still yelling. Cut. <laughs> Thank Cut. you. <laughs> What's up, guys? Day two. Good morning from DC. Good morning. Thought we would hop on here and give you a little update of what's I happening. I gotta fix my hair. It's a mess. <laughs> A majestic white squirrel. <laughs> All white. <laughs> time to announce I'm running for office <laughs> I'll be running on patriotism and a heart for America oh dear and love <laughs> turtleneck fam coming at ya. What's up, Popos? No, you have a hair in your mouth. <laughs> I was wondering what that was, <laughs> that was tasting all afternoon. It was your hair, not mine. Okay. <laughs> Just FYI. We wanted to sit and chat with you for a moment. A to, brief moment. Yes, just to tell you guys what, what, what the heck we're doing here in DC. It has been really beautiful. So beautiful. I mean, we got really lucky. The weekend has been amazing. Today was in the 50s. Yesterday was in the high 40s. A little windy. I did get wind... Chaff. Chaff. Burn. Wind burn. Wind burn. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> enough of that small talk. Yeah. So tonight, we're headed to the Museum of the Bible. First time for both of us. First time. Um, To have a chosen... Christmas special watch party. So we're going to be getting to connect with some of the peeps. Some of, we honestly have no idea who's going to be here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, very little idea. As you guys know, we were able to go on set of The Chosen in season one. We were featured. If you watch very closely, you can see us briefly. Oh, please don't. And what? Morgan, don't watch closely. <laughs> she, that sounds like, come on, of course, it's exciting. Okay, watch closely, just don't watch for me. Morgan thinks she looked a little bit goofy. I looked like a roasted, a roasted baby ro red potato. potato. A roasted red roasted potato. A roasted red baby potato. But no, no, anyway, we were <laughs> pumped. Actually, that was a super sweet time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. This is round two for us. Mm -hmm. Tonight, um, during the watch party, I'm just, I, I think we're going to really have a good time getting to connect with these people. We really, uh, just we appreciate Christian stepping into the art. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that the chosen, the way they have gone about this, 
they've found so much success. They've reached such a broad audience. I think it's cool because, you know, even though we're doing different things, like with our YouTube channel, like we can still very much so connect with these people who are doing The Chosen and like they're wanting to create content with that has a purpose, that has a benefit yeah. and is wholesome and beautiful and takes you, hopefully redirects you back to the word of God. Like right. in our Paul and Morgan YouTube channel, we don't always quote Bible verses, but our hope in all of our videos is that you guys go back to the word of God. And I think that that is, is, um, a, a very big goal of the chosen. And I mean, even Dallas and other people that we've talked to a part of the chosen have said that, like, we hope that people meet Jesus through the show. And then their desire is to go and know more about Jesus by going and getting in the word. And I think that's really cool. Um, so we're very pumped. But we didn't even tell them like what we're going to go watch. Okay, well, we've been invited by Museum of the Bible to come and kind of watch a pre, well, the whole thing, not a preview, watch the brand new Christmas special, which comes out in theaters, which is really cool, December 1st through the 10th. So make sure you go and get a ticket and go watch that. Um, but we get to go watch that with people from The Chosen and hang out with them and connect and fellowship and it'll be a really cool time. So we're excited. Very excited. We just actually finished and some of you guys might be ashamed but it's that it took us this long but we just finished right before we came here actually uh, season two of The Chosen and it was a very good season. There were a few episodes that I was just like, oh man, that was really good. Obviously the finale, Dallas Jenkins and the rest of them are gonna give us a good show for the finale. It was episode four of season two that I was like, that episode was packed. Mm -hmm. I mean this, even if you're not like, even if you're not a Christian, and I don't say that lightly because it's not like, I mean, this, this is obviously a very faith related show but it's just a fun show too. Like I, I was watching it and feeling like I was connecting with the characters and the storyline. Um, but yeah, I think it was episode four, the healing at the pool of Siloam. Siloam. They just did a really good job with that. Um, I mean, the acting, the guy who played the paralytic at the pool, the way that they were tying stuff together. And again, maybe taking some artistic liberties Yes. Nevertheless, though, I mean, that the he, that healing seemed very, I mean, lots of just scripture being tied in there. Um, it's just a really good episode. Episode four. Have you guys seen it? Comment below what your favorite episode has been from season two. I would say that one may have rivaled the finale for me. Yeah, no, that one was really good, but well, the finale was... Would you say the finale was your favorite episode? I think it was so cool because of how many extras they had. I know that that was like a really big process for them. I'm worried that, that no one. People. I'm worried that no one's gonna show up, Andrew, or maybe too many people will show up, and we need more oh boy. crowd control. <laughs> okay, no, that is not my you audition. Gotta work on your that accent. is not my uh, accent for the audition, Dallas, <laughs> for putting me in a. Um, Paul's trying to grow out his beard so that Dallas will recognize him and put that him in the show. That is not my accent for the audition. <laughs> well, on that note, we will see you guys when we get to the Museum of the Bible. <laughs> I like to do very little makeup. This is all I'm going to use. I'm a simple gal. I think that less is more most of the time, but I am actually going to do a little more this time. Get those eyes, baby. <laughs> I, I do my eye makeup more. Um, when we are like going to an event or something, so normally I don't wear mascara or eyeshadow. But tonight is the night. <laughs> She is, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, stunning, stunning, top to bottom. My goodness, My, what a! This is a treat for all of us. Wow. Oh, thanks. Wow. Any comments? 
Um, I'm going to dye in these heels. I don't do heels very often, and these babies are tall. And they're like tall here, and then there's nothing here to kind of balance out. So just say a prayer for my toes and feet. You're nervous. I'm nervous for walking in these heels. Fashion is pain. Fashion <laughs> is pain. Just kidding. You can have fashion and it not be painful. Can you? If you need to take them off while we're there, slide them under the table, you can. <laughs> also, I never wear jewelry, so this is $4 from H&M, guys. You don't, you're not supposed to reveal that. Oh, I mean, it's pure gold from the well, how about we just... sea of Aphrodite. <laughs> Good. We let them make their own assumptions about it. saying this in all realness this night was so special and I was just telling Morgan it's stuff like this that motivates me the way that the chosen put on this night they got people together really a blessed <laughs> night man it's really a fun night what about the episode right right <laughs> all right about the Christmas special you guys it was really really well done it was which what do you expect yeah, I like the guy who played Joseph Oh yeah, he did a great job. He, did. he was really good. I liked the young Mary as well. So yeah. good, in my opinion. They just crushed it. Um, yes. So guys, this Christmas special is out. And I'm not just saying this, like no one is forcing me or Paul to say this. They told us we didn't even have to vlog or film or do anything yeah. um in in return for us coming out here and being a part of this. But so this is very genuine. If you enjoy music Christmas music, songs about Jesus and his birth, and you enjoy hearing the story of Jesus' birth, you should go and get a ticket to this at a movie theater near you. Um, December 1st through the 10th, you can go and watch. I will just say that this story of Jesus' birth is told in a way that I had never ever yeah. seen it told, and I thought I was weeping like oh. i was trying not to weep she because was. i had water not waterproof mascara on and i was like oh no i'm gonna come out here looking terrible um so but it was so good you guys i agree with you morgan they took a story that we all know and they personalized it and they gave us just visual scenarios mm -hmm. that made us um just feel like the the uniqueness and intensity of Jesus' birth story and the way that, you know, he's born in this, this manger because the uh, couldn't get in at the end and just like how gritty that is. Mm, so gritty, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so good. 
whether you're a believer or not, I think that you would thoroughly enjoy this just because of the art, the beauty that this per, like special is. Um, also, you don't have to have seen any of the other previous chosen episodes, although you should go watch all the episodes, season one and two, and get caught up. But you don't have to know, like, it's, it's a standalone episode, so. Yeah, but once again, like, thank you to The Chosen um, for putting on this night. We ran into some uh, friends that we only knew via online, and we're like, yeah. dude, you're <laughs> the face behind this Instagram account that I follow, or you're, uh, you guys are this other Christian YouTube channel that we've never actually met. And so yeah. thank you, The Chosen, for bringing us together, um, and just the team that you have. Uh, it's great seeing Justin Overlander again. I just, <laughs> Shout out Justin. <laughs> what a guy. You guys are lucky to have him. You guys have a really cool team. Um, and yeah, I appreciate what you guys are doing. Stay strong. Stay the path. Wow, that's really deep, babe. <laughs> yeah. Morgan, what was your favorite part of our trip to D.C.? Obviously this evening. <laughs> Teacher's pet. What was your favorite part? That's what I thought. Yeah, my favorite part was this evening. <laughs> uh, I got to say hey to Dallas before we left. And, oh, yeah, uh, and we're going to be having him on our channel. We've been... Well, we, we've been talking about it, and here's yeah. the interesting thing. The last thing I'll say is, you know, when it comes to any Christian creative thing, there is likely going to be some differences. So we may, when you pull back, when you zoom out, see certain things... A little differently so um, Dallas mentioned he's like hey um, you know I saw you guys made a video about uh, some observations you had we still gonna do a collab or am I still gonna be on the channel and I said let's make it happen because we had talked about it we had had some back and forth so let's make it happen and I think it would be fun to bring up some of the um, things that perhaps some of the the questions or even maybe concerns um, surrounding some things I think when we look at The Chosen, we see a lot of good fruit that's happening, but there may be some things that we'd like to bring up and ask Dallas about. So that, I think, is what we should do. All right, guys, we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Comment below and let me know, are you going to see The Chosen? Have you seen it? Are you going to the Christmas special? Let me know. And who's your favorite disciple? Have a great rest of your day. And remember, Jesus is the answer. Amen. Bye, Popos. No. Bye, Momos. <laughs> hey, guys. We, uh... You need to step it up. There's lots of people coming to hear the teaching of the... Terrible, babe. That's absolutely terrible. Let me try it again. <laughs> <laughs>